Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. It's a very impromptu video. I was doing my makeup just for fun. So I really wanted to play with like smoky, sultry tones. And I basically wanted to play with the Adept Cosmetic Heather Austin palette as well as the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. So that's exactly what I did. I used everything that I already had in my collection. Nothing new. It's like a full face of like get ready with me using my existing products. But I wanted to play with these tones and like get like a very smoky, sultry eye. So if you guys are interested to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So let's begin. As you guys can see, I have done my base already. I feel like that's the most boring step. So I just got that out of my way. But I'm going to tell you what I used. For the primer, I used my Maybelline Perfecto 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. This one as a primer. And then I mixed this with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. And in this, I am in the shade Medium Dark 120W. For the concealer, I use my Too Faced Bond This Way Concealer. In this, I am in the shade Medium Tan. And for the powder, I powdered my face with this Milani Conceal and Perfect Translucent Setting Powder. So that's what I have on my face. Uh, obviously, I have my brows too. And for that, I use this, uh, the Rimmel Kind and Free Brow Definer. That's what I have for my brows. So now let's, let's quickly move on to the rest of the steps for my bronzer. I want to use the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer and this one is in the shade 350 medium and I'm going to take that on my BK Beauty 103 brush and I feel like this is perfect like shape for the bronzer. So I'm just going to take that right there. There was no theory behind like this video but I wanted to do like a smoky, sexy, sultry eye. So I thought why not like record for you guys too and because i'm going to use like the palettes that i already have in my collection it's not like anything new or anything so i feel like we could also do like a get ready with me style kind of a video uh, with nothing new because we need to use the things that we have in our collection and i i really was in like a mood for like dark smoky eye basically like inspired with the glam light chucky palette so like those burgundy tones, I feel like those give like a very sultry kind of uh, effect on the eyes. So I was like super, super up for that. <laughs> for the highlighter, I'm going to take my Makeup by Mario highlighter in the shade Golden. So let's do that. There. It's been quite some time that I've not used this highlight and you guys know like, oh my God, this was like my non-stop highlighter for like last year. So I was like, okay, let's just keep this away so that we can utilize some other highlighters. But then I opened my drawer today and I was like, Smithy, I feel like it's time for Makeup by Mario. Look at that. Like, it's so nice and wonderful. Yeah, you cannot just like get over this highlighter. It's so pretty. Uh, for the blush, I'm going to take this Pat McGrath Divine Blush. And this one is in the shade Nude Venus, a perfect everyday nude shade. Because we're going to go like smoky on the eyes, I wanted to go very neutral on the blush side. So let's take that. And this has like a little bit of glow already. Maybe I should have not used like a super glowy highlighter. <laughs> Just because I'm undergoing like a lot of like breakouts right now. But I mean... It's part of life. <laughs> you get breakouts and I'm like a super acne prone skin. So you would see a lot of like breakouts happening here. And we are like super blushed and like beautiful. I feel like people are here for the eye look and these are all like extra steps that I'm doing. <laughs> now for the eye primer, I just want to like prime my eyes and I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eye Primer. Just taking a tiny little bit. Prime our eyes for the eyeshadows. I'm super, super excited about this look. It's all in my mind. So I don't know if that would come in action or not. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> okay. So for my eye look, I have like two palettes uh, in front of me that I want to like dibble and dabble into. For that look, for the mattes, I really wanted to focus on the Melt Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette because this has so beautiful like, you know, burgundy, pinky, brown shades. Like super, super sexy, super sultry, like sultriness in an eyeshadow. Like I feel like this would be so, so beautiful. But for the shimmers, like this, these are like my very like creamy shimmers. Not like, you know, boom, bam on your like face kind of a 
uh, shimmers but for the shimmers i wanted to dibble dabble into this heather austin palette from adept cosmetics and this also has those like super beautiful like berry sultry tones and even this berry would be really good so we'll see we'll see what we create i cannot wait to try okay first i'm gonna start with the second shade which is ladylike so let's take that and i'm gonna place that basically as my crease shade and this is like a big fluffy brush, right? This is Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush JH30. Super, super like a big fluffy brush. Best for like, you know, transitioning shade, a shade that you want to like blow out on your eyelid. This is beautiful for that. I'm going to take the same shade on the lower lash line. I feel like you saw that I didn't like set my primer at all. So this is the shade is just like sticking on top of the primer look even like that light tone shade is so pigmented okay now we're gonna start building up our shades <laughs> so for that i'm gonna take this shade which is gemellas i think this one this shade because we don't want to like go to pinky but we're gonna go into like these berry tones this this and this so let's do that so first taking gemellas and starting to build the outer corners and then melting it with that transitioning shade just building it slowly and steadily and also going to take that on the inner corners and then going and connecting it on the crease just like that we're just getting like the shape in place so like that so once we have that like shape laid down not concentrating on the blend at all just focusing on the shape i'm going to take like a small fluffy brush not like small small i'm going to dip into this shade which is bella the first shade it's more like on the peachy pink side but more brighter i would say and i'm going to go over the edges with the shade now i'm going to go to this shade the maroon shade the lovesick shade now i'm going to start building up this berry shade right there I'm going to take that same lovesick shade and blend it down on the lower lash line and connecting it with the outer corners. Going into LX Queen and lovesick mixed together, that would create like a deep, deep, deep smoky tone right in the outer corners. Look at that. I love that tone. And also in the inner corner oof oof okay let's do the same thing on the other eye on the other eye i'm actually just mixing both the shades together and it's already giving that deep smokiness that is here i'm just blending oof really really pretty okay i'm gonna do the same thing on the lower lash line i'm gonna take like a very small round definer brush going back into this lovesick shade which is that maroon shade just placing it here right there on the crease too you know what I feel like doing? I don't know if it's not good or not, but let's see. I want to just dip back into the Patricta palette. Just a tiny little bit. I want to take that, um, the cream shade here. Here, this one. And I'm going to take a tiny little bit. We'll see how it goes. And then just start blending the edges of the sh shape. I feel like because it's a cream, it will just blend so nicely and give that vibrancy. The only thing that I feel like I'm missing is like that vibrant peachy shade. Because when I dipped into that Gemini Melt 
uh, peachy shade this one the Bella shade let's see if we pack it on top of the cream if it makes a difference or not a little but if it was me I would have taken like a little bit more like a coral shade just to brighten things up here because the lid is gonna be and the crease is gonna be super smoky and sultry but I feel like this is okay let's not dibble dabble into too many palettes and I'm just cleaning it up with like a tight definer brush with this lovesick shade again I'm just going over the edges and just making that shape just like that is it too smoky maybe <laughs> maybe okay I'm gonna take my NYX glitter glow and apply that on the center of my eyelid just because we need it and just place it specially like like from the inner corners to that blank space just up till here now we're gonna start off with this and let's start with the shade hey y'all this one I'm gonna take the same brush and then start defining that on that blank space oh my god look at the look at the shine oh my goodness really pretty I'm gonna almost take it all across my eyelid but a little space I'm just putting it blank here and you'll see why oh my god so pretty just like that I really love that for the inner corners I'm just gonna take this shade so excited this one and I'm just gonna place that right there right there that will give a little bit of lightness but I don't want like any golden or anything coming through here want to be pretty cool tone I would say and this is more like a silvery tone like burgundy purple shade okay now just to finish that outer corner off I'm gonna dip back into the Gemini palette and I'm gonna take this shade which is Schmood this one it's more like a satin shade very creamy shade I would say and just melting it with that burgundy shade I don't know if you can see that difference but I'm melting with that purple to like a I would say like a coppery shade to that burgundy of that gives such a great interest to the eye I'm gonna take the same schmode shade on the inner corner of the lower lash line too just so that everything just smooths out on the top and the lower lash line oh my god I'm loving it okay I'm gonna apply some liner mascara and I'll get right back okay so the eyes are all completed let's finish off with our lips uh, for the lip liner I'm gonna take the Colourpop lippy pencil in the shade good and plenty and it's more like a burgundy lip liner like a pinky tone you know me I need a brown <laughs> I just need a brown <laughs> so I'm gonna take the lippy pencil in the shade BFF4 and just go over the edges just like that that's more like my speed I would say now for the lipstick let's take this Maybelline where is it yeah this Maybelline ultimate lipstick in the shade more buff it's more pink I'm just gonna fill it in just like that I feel like it can be a little bit more nudey what do you say mm, let's take this Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick in the shade cancer mm, is that right Mm, not feeling it not feeling it there's nothing wrong in it but I need more like lavendery pink let me see I'm taking this vinyl lipstick yeah okay this one is in the shade cheeky mm. 
yeah i think that's better if i could i actually could just take off all of this and just take my natasha denona lipstick in the shade yana should we do it <laughs> yeah see see it just fixed everything I love how I applied like 10,000 lipsticks. <laughs> but I, I love, love the way how the eyes turned out. So let me give you a close up. I really love this like sultry, smoky, burgundy eye. I really, really, really love it. It's very similar to, I would say the Natasha Denona retro palette video that I did. But this is like more sultry. That was like more airy and like everyday-esque. But this, I feel like it's very like graphic liner kind of an effect that's giving with this like eye shape. But I really, really love it. You guys have to tell me like, how do you like like this kind of a look on me? If you love it, you hate it, you want me to go simple, colorful. What color do you want to see me apply next? Do let me know in the comment section below. But that's all for today, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.